you here with Mystery, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of Cards. Today we're in a very, um, interesting village. Uh, they, they have some problems. They absolutely raise some questions. Uh, like, what exactly is a med- Like, what it exactly are they putting in the stuff? Just, oh, that guy disappeared. And, anyway, we're supposed to be coming over here, and, yeah, last episode we learned that it was the salves doing this, or at least the medicine, which is interesting, to say the least. It's definitely possible, but I'm really wondering what's up with it, and, like, it's got a lot of interesting parallels, too. I wonder if there's any specific parallels they're going for. I guess it sort of reminds me of like what caused the opium wars as well, but hmm. I guess they are sort of just sitting around only wanting the medicine. I wonder what's gonna happen in that abandoned house. Anyway, let's see about the elder. What's up with him? Ooh. You knock lightly on the door. An elderly man opens it. Beaming at you. Dodge! Okay. Um, so I changed everybody's, well, changed Damien, Melanie's, and Emil, oh, not Emil, Mars outfits to the dress of the bereft. Barefoot? Barefoot? I never, I think it's bereft. Anyway, that's what I, that's basically all I did off camera. Oh, it's a four leaf clover. Alright. He announces himself as Selfor, and beckons you inside. Might he be the headman you've heard so much about? He's a suspicious old man. Interesting. Ask me anything you like, he offers. Selfor receives your party, for whatever reason, rather graciously. Okay. He could well be a font of knowledge. What will you ask him? I personally think the most knowledgeable font is either Times New Roman, because in college they force you to write in it all the time, or Allegro? I've forgotten what it's called. I think it's Allegro or something like that. It starts with an A. It's all capitals. Whatever. Go on. What will we ask? Have you seen the dragon? Why does this place feel off? You? The headman? Like we already know him? Dang, he has a thin neck. I think he needs to eat a little bit more. I don't know. Have you seen the dragon? Um, let's not piss him off yet. Let's go with this. You ask if he has seen the dragon. I do like Damien's sword in this. But whatever. Why yes, he says. He returned to this island just the other day. Returned? Interesting. Oh, but don't worry, he continues. He hasn't caused us too much trouble. Needless to say, this does not comport with your understanding of the dragon. Huh. Mm-hmm. Because normally, he's quite the troublemaker. You notice Melanie lift an eyebrow at his use of the word returned. Like a vacation here, I At guess. any rate, the dragon's presence on the island is confirmed. <laughs> you quietly celebrate the first credible lead you've yet received. I've got to start waiting until the voice actor says it, not when I have finished reading it, but whatever. <laughs> what else will we ask? Let's go with... Why does this place feel You off? make mention of the village's eccentricities. You can... Call it a problem, sir. Selfor informs you that the island indeed suffers from an extreme shortage of medicine. Probably because they're too busy drinking it. He apologizes for the villagers' incivility. Consider it the price to pay for making the world a better place, he adds nonsensically. Do you know what it's doing to your people, sir? Something tells me he does not know what that medicine is doing to his people. This is... I'd honestly take a headman who's secretly eating the town's pets than a headman who is... 
basically... I guess, ignorant to the village's problems and like, what's happening to the village? Okay, what else will we ask? You, the headman? You ask if he is the one in charge of the village. It's true that the villagers call him their headman, but I feel compelled to correct the record and state that my official title is Overseer. Interesting that that is in red and also... It sounds like a Your prison. Your question satisfactorily answered. You thank Selfor and turn to leave. Shoot, I accidentally pressed a button too fast, but... Overseer sounds a bit more like... He's running either running an experiment... Or he's like the runner of a prison. That's interesting. Interesting choice of word to use overseer. He asks you to stop. What? We have yet to discuss the terms of your living here, he declares. We ain't living here, bro. How about you respond? I ain't putting down roots here. You explain that you are only here to pursue the dragon and have no intention to stay. Yeah, I'm not saying. Selfor begs your forgiveness for thinking you were newcomers. Why did he think that? It's perfectly understandable, though. What with the non-match among you, he says with a sneer. Hmm. Poor Mar. I mean, I would be a little freaked out by this Mar specifically, but... Standard Mar? No. Cute as a puppy, honestly. What does he mean by that, <gasps> Melanie asks you, unable to grasp the old man's intentions. Melanie is moving up in the world in a way, isn't she? She's definitely developing. She's accepting Mar instead of trying to fire fireballs at him. Probably because he saved her ass a couple times. Well, in our battles, she has. Music has stopped. Interesting. For reasons unknown, you feel the blood drain from your face. Your breathing grows ragged, and you break out in a sweat. What? We're done here, you say defiantly, as you storm out of the house. Mar runs after you, chirping frantically. Either Mar knows what's happening, or Mar is catching up with you. Wait, he has a dyne's necklace. Sort of. A triangle... Like the, um... That, wait, that's Samus's logo, isn't it? I mean, close. Same as. Then we also have... Like... Uh, like one of the... Like, um... An hourglass that's like two triangles put together? Sort of like that. Interesting design. It looks like he has like a weird mole for a sack. And something to brace his hand to punch people in the face. I'm talking about the wooden thing in his hand and the lower hand. The hand that's not gripping a four-leaf clover. Oh, he has like a dragon shirt. Wait. That also has the Google Maps pin, but it's a different one. Sort of like bleeds into a fiery phoenix. Okay, I'm 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 done with describing him currently until I see something else. Like now, there's like a T earring, whatever. There's a lot of colors on him. Let's go. Melanie and the others give chase, but you and Mar are well out of sight by the time they make it outside. Huh. You can't have gone far, though. It may be best to first search the village. True, and... Wow, Damien and Mar have left the party. Mar's left the party twice. <laughs> may use the jump up a little now. We can't open the menu anymore. Can vast the village of the sick in search of your scattered allies. Can vast. <laughs> You don't need two S's there. 
Oh, it reminds me of... So I was... Basically, like, making sure the store that I cash here at, making sure the items were looking nice out at the end of their racks, and I decided to check one item in particular and saw that they misspelled China with two eyes. That was sort of funny. Made in China, or China. It was a little, I, I found it entertaining. Okay. Oh. Is this Damien's abandoned house? Melanie and company find you standing in front of a house. She can't quite make it out, but it sounds as though you're saying to Mar, this place is... The two loiterers? We know who they are. Melanie calls out to you, prompting you to blurt out, er, sorry, just had a bad stomach ache back there in your characteristically glib manner. I'm guessing he's a bad liar. Mar also chirps skeptically. Melanie opens your mouth to speak. Opens her mouth to speak. Ooh, are you sure you are all white? All white, all right? I guess I shouldn't have worried then. All right. Let's go with like, Melanie's sort of sarcasm. Let's go with this. <laughs> I don't know why I bother worrying about you, she let slip. So you were worried about me, you shoot back. <laughs> no, I wasn't, she replies, her face reddening. Damien and Mar rejoin the party and there's somebody behind us. We can now open the menu and stuff. Finish your investigation at the village of the sick. So now there's that person there and the knight has disappeared. Has he evolved? Oh no, wait, hold on. Hold on. No collection. Characters. Yep, looks like Winifred. Yep. Nope, can't flip it over yet. <laughs> Winifred and Damien are, like, brother and sister. There'd be something a little bit funny about that. No. No, shoot. Wrong, wrong button. Alright. We'll go and, like, rook on over. You spot a familiar looking mage on the village streets. Yeah, Winifred knew it. <laughs> Winifred takes no notice of you and ducks into the apothecary. That's a first. Bet you didn't notice us. But hold on one sec. Alright, we're back. Um, in my time, it was a little bit longer than I meant to do. Ooh, but whatever. Um,. Don't mind me, just checking right at whatever. So, the Ivory Order buys their medicine just like everybody else, you muse to yourself as you prick up your ears and listen carefully. Hmm. I mean, they could probably heal themselves. I don't know. I don't know if that sort of magic would work. Winifred and the apothecary speak in hushed tones. You'd guess it's an order for special medicine, but you can't make it out. Alas, she's just buying the usual stuff. Nothing remotely interesting about that. Mm. Though her presence suggests that other members of the Order might also be in town. Yeah, why are they here? With no desire to run into them, you make yourself scarce before she catches sight of you. Are they following us? Or are we unintentionally following them? I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Could be something too, though. Don't mind my phone. Whatever. Uh, let's look around the town. Let's talk to a guy who's about to OD over here. Is hitting his head up against the wall, like what I've said before, but not meaning literally. I guess he took it literally. Oh. Oh, why are they here? What about you? 
You spy the very people you were hoping to avoid, gathered near the village gate. But I stepped on Sherwin. The last thing we need is a confrontation, you mutter, spying them from the shadows. I'm pretty sure we could take him out at this point. No, wait, they have 50 somehow. Eh, it'd be a hard battle. We fought worse. Why are we always hiding? Melanie hisses under her breath. Because he doesn't want to get his ass kicked like he did at the beginning. Though we could easily get our ass kicked. We could easily kick Two his ass. Two members of the Order are speaking with Sherwood. Kick, him, kick their ass. Giving how deferential they appear to be acting toward him, you hazard a guess that he's their superior. Oh. Have you determined the dragon's location? Sherwin asks. Hedwin launches into his report. I'm guessing the stoic man ain't gonna say anything. The dragon appears to be <sighs> occupying the volcano. I suggest we move to capture him immediately. Capture? Councils. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Now who should appear but Winifred? Fresh from her shopping excursion. Why are we hiding in the carriage shop? I guess. Preparations for our journey into the volcano are complete, she reports, handing Sherwin a bottle of something. Probably heat resistance. Splendid. Sherwin walks off and out of sight, the other three following close behind. Okay. Now we need a bottle Lucky of that for you, gunk. your hastily improvised hiding spot afforded you valuable information on the dragon. I hope we get to go beyond the border soon. their conversation raised as many questions as it answered. How do we get to the volcano? We already know that, so that'd be a dumb question to ask. What about that medicine bottle? Capture the dragon? They're probably going to be first. Let's go with what about that medicine bottle? The medicine bottle Sherwin received is probably related to their journey into the volcano somehow. Probably. Bruno recalls seeing a bottle oh. much like it once before. He says it contains flash freeze, which can chill most anything. Oh, that's how we're going to be able to explore it. They're going to flash freeze it. Maybe that's what Winifred bought at the apothecary, Bruno continues. Maybe. <laughs> yep, more... Let's go with capture the dragon. There was talk of capturing the dragon. Gosh, we're gonna have to ask the really dumb question, aren't we? <laughs> Unless there's some other volcano. Melanie picked up on the incongruity as well. The queen ordered the dragon killed, she reminds you. I don't think you need to remind Damien about that <sighs> how do we get to the volcano we already know where it is you know that the dragon is lurking in the volcano but can't for the life of you recall how to get there from here you have been there sir you seem to be s suffering like a senior moment or something <laughs> i don't know isn't it that mountain with all the smoke pouring out of it Riddus asks pointing westward why, yes, that sure does look rather like a volcano. <laughs> True, but we've already been there, so, yeah. You narrow your eyes. You three have no right being this helpful, you think? Nice. Mar pinches your cheeks without warning. You yelp in pain, which at the very least, crosses dreaming off the list of explanations. <laughs> Damn, I would not want the email Mar. Email. Uh. MR. To pinch my cheeks. Especially with those skeletal hands, but. Look at how they're divided. They're divided as, like, the main two originally went on the adventure. On the right, and then on the left is all the three editions. Not in the order, per se, but close to it. You put Bruno at the end, and then you've got the order that came. Interesting. I still don't know why in the dressed up bereft. Full er skin Melanie has that big sword. I don't know. 
Returning to the matter at hand, it's clear what must be done. You'll have to get your hands on some flash freeze if you hope to enter the volcano. I don't think we will, honestly. I mean... They're probably gonna go in first and freeze the mountain, right? Okay, I guess we do have to go actually to the apothecary and get some flash freeze. Happen to have any flash freeze for sale? You cheerily ask the apothecary. We have to get to the north of the island, I'm guessing. She flashes a wry smile. How do you steady the roiling magma's flow? She asks cryptically. Throw a bottle of flash freeze into it? The meaning behind the question is utterly lost on you. She needs a password, Melanie mutters over your shoulder. Oh. The answer, then, would be the password. So, how do you steady the roiling magma's flow? Okay, what are the options? Cold ice, flowing water, special medicine. Flowing water, that's the correct answer. Should we give her the wrong answer, though? Let's go with special medicine. The old woman rolls her <gasps> up, suddenly looking defeated. How did you know the answer? Did someone tell you? She mutters bitterly. No, I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> no, shoot. Oh. This compound allows you to freeze most anything momentarily. Handle with care. I can't believe I got it right. <laughs> okay. We've got all the flash freeze that they have. Okay. And we don't need anything else. Bueno. Okay. Or buena. You've managed to crack the code, and a bottle of flash freeze is yours. At last, you are ready to enter the volcano. I guess it makes sense if you're going for her. Flash freeze, a medicine from an apothecary. You've got a long road ahead of you, so you would best be prepared. Journey to the volcano west of the village of the sick in your quest to find the dragon. <laughs> Unless we're gonna be like swept up into the north, I don't think this road is gonna be as long as you think, narrator. Narrator, sir. Come on, man. You watched us go over there. Oh yeah, and I changed the back of the cards. Oh, we still can't go there. Wait, can we jump on it? Nope. Okay. I want to try jumping on the ship quickly. Oh. We, we can just go back. You have unfinished business. The mainland can wait. Oh yeah, and also I changed the table back to default because we don't have any other options. Thought it'd be interesting and... Oh cool, you can see the carpet. Wait. Let's go up here. Whoa, that really moved. Wow. I'm, I'm getting really distracted, but now I need to see... This is a decent... Oh, it's a lot of tables, that's right. I don't think at the library you could see the floor like this, even though... I knew that you could peek between the table and see the carpet like what you can actually see here. Oh, okay. Let's um get all the way back here. Oh, jumped right in the water. Oops. Okay. Jump on the volcano. Yas. Now how do we apply the flash freeze? Do we even need it? The heat of the volcano engulfs you the moment you set foot inside. That is how volcanoes work. Of course, the dragon is hiding out here. Guess it's as good a place as any to corner him. You reason with yourself, trying to keep your spirits up. Okay. Um, bunch of rocks up. An enemy appears. What sorts of enemies hang around in a volcano, I wonder? About the enemy. An orc we've seen 80 times, and two fiery slimes. Let's go with that on you. Got a free.
freeze off. Ooh, and a crit. Oh, that's a KO. Wow, that's weak. That thing is so weak. That was lucky. Um, sir, I think it was a little bit. That thing was really weak. Oh. Not paralyzing today. We're doing a lot more damage thanks to those upgrades we got last episode. They're fun. Got the master sword and a bunch of fun claws. More ramming. No, I don't want to see a truck. Oh, why do you always have to... <sighs> Moron. Nice bit. Oh yeah, and I changed the die back to default as well. Switch things up quite a bit. Alright. Yeah, that's quick shot. Shot the fire slam. Die fire slam. And then we finish off our orky friend with a good old ram truck to the face. Nice. Melanie is at eight, which is always pleasant. Oh, we're not level up. Anything new? Overpower. Deal attack plus 15 damage. Inflict attack down for three turns. Nice. We can finally get this guy to do more attacking. <sighs> okay. Um. Oh, shoot. Skills. Nope. A lot of fun attacks with that, um card front, eh? Very nice. Okay. Keep the dish deep tissue massage. Oh no, shoot. And... <sighs> Should we switch out Melanie? She's... The problem is she's really low and she's not even close to leveling up and I don't want to use any solves on her. The good thing is I've been really... Like, conserving the solve, so if they do indeed, like, make people addicted and it's gonna somehow play into the story, technically we would have had so few that it just wouldn't do anything technically. Crossing this river of lava won't be easy. That is how rivers of lava work. I do. Here's how you cross a lava river. Bam. <laughs> you need more energy narrator, sir. You open the bottle of flash freeze and pour some into the raging river of lava. The lava instantly hardens, forming a bridge of rock. Gosh, we should have tried that when we first came here. Send the volcano in suit. Pursuit of the dragon. Oh, that's just a river. Okay. Yeah, we'll go this way. No, I meant here. And there. And back. And back again. Another enemy. Okay. One more enemy encounter will actually go through. And then I'll start just skipping them. Happenstance. Increase fire damage dealt to all allies and enemies. Good thing I wasn't planning on using them. This still brings up the question of why did that fire monster end up right at Riz's house? She really blew that thing bad, I guess. Ooh. Should be KO. Or close. Oh, yeah. Good work. Twenties. Yeah, the thing wasn't gonna survive. Okay. Annoying that it gave so little XP. Ooh, staircase. Let's go back over here and check this side. Okay. Nothing much to so far, except for another enemy. Okay, let's see if it's anything interesting, and then I'll either skip or keep it. What 
what are you doing? I just immediately skipped it. Congrats. It was it was easy. Okay. Will this be a level up? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, treasure. What are we gonna get here? Let's go middle again. Supreme Sav. Nice. Hopefully we have room. I think we do. We'll check though quickly. How much room do we have? Nope. Items. Aren't we at 30? Oh no. Uh, okay. Exchange issues have, yeah. Oh yeah, and I got more sooth stones. So then we can like charge up for some zero element attacks on Melody when we want them. Looks like we have three more spots. Okay. Now we go up to see what's here. I'm guessing a chest. Hey, actually, a somewhat interesting creature. Wow. It's one of those flamey wolves. I went and attacked Rudis' house. So, decided to play through this one because it was actually a somewhat interesting monster, but... <sighs> the thing about this game is... Well, I guess I'm not really tired of the battles. They're not bad, it's just... I don't... I, I don't feel like fighting the same monsters over and over again makes good content. I mean, I'm not exactly saying I make a ton of good content, but... Certainly know that that's not a, my idea of good content. And I saw the chest. I just have to complete a bunch of things, don't worry. Okay. What's in it? Blind... Bind stay ring. Ooh. Text against seal. Oh, but I like the singer. Okay. First floor. Nice. I keep messing with the microphone. Ooh, it's hot. Enemy appears again. Shouldn't blow right in the microphone. That's hot. Interesting creature in the middle. Happenstance card, and now we have double. Okay. What is this thing? Let's hopefully not give it a chance to introduce itself. Which we aren't doing. It's dead. It's it's completely destroyed unless it has some weird <laughs> revival attack Fortune or something. Savers the bold. Thank you. Thank you for thinking I'm bold. Ugh. So much damage. Go away. Sound like the critical drinker. Go away now. That was awful. Um. Let's spinning ray. I like doing this attack. It's a fun one. Look at that. I always like doing that attack. So I tend to do it as much as I can. Often. Sometimes. Oh. I don't like the power of that flame breath. We'll just get them all. Goodbye, flame wolves that have no head. Goodbye. Death to scary email. Mar. Mar. Not email. Mar. I keep saying the wrong name. I think because technically that is like Mars email form. Uh, let's see where we, what we have about it here. Oh, decent sized place. Um, yeah, hold on one sec. And actually, I think I'll start skipping until we find something more interesting. They'll probably only do that once in this episode because we're at 34 minutes. Okay, good time to come back. We've gained our final ability. Dark proof on Damien. And also, off camera, when I was doing some exploring, I found a couple of chests. Thought it'd be a fun thing to come back on after I explored a little bit more. Also found the staircase. Got the Pyro Wolf's enemy story. Nice, and yeah, 
let's finish off this episode by opening the, these two chests up. How about that? Sounds like a good end to me. Another Sooth Stone. That's good. And then... What about this one? Alright. 100... 1500G. Nice. And... As for the episode... It has end... This is the end of it. Um... Hope you enjoyed the episode. I should do. Ooh. A jet of lava erupts from the ground before you. You escape injury by the skin of your teeth, but the path ahead is now blocked. Joke's on you, I don't have skin on my teeth. Anyway, if you thought this episode was entertaining, feel free to leave a like, and if you really liked it and really liked my shenanigans, feel free to subscribe, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you later. Goodbye. Well, let's let's take these final steps. All right. Now, goodbye.